guys welcome back okay so if you've already seen this get up this yellow bright neon eye look then that means you've seen the video of me creating this eye look <laughs> but if not it will come shortly okay now it's time for another just kind of laid back beauty chat where I just kind of show you guys my latest purchases because you know your girl be shopping and you know just take a look show them to you maybe I might do a swatch or two here or there and just kind of talk about why I purchased these items and whether or not I regret it <laughs> before even using it no I'm just kidding but yeah I just you know like to kind of sit down and just do like a whole overall video that's kind of like a haul but I'm also just kind of chatting about makeup as I show you so I've done one of these videos already I will link it in this video above just in case you like it and you want to check out another one and let's just go ahead and jump right in because I have quite a bit of stuff in front of me and like I always say my hauls are typically palette heavy i do have some other little things in here though so let's just jump right in okay y'all why <laughs> why it seems like every one of my little haul chit chat type videos are starting out with me and a humongous palette okay this one is from the new xx revolution line it's called the extravaganza palette okay and y'all y'all see this thing is huge there's no mirror in here thank god because i think if there was it probably would have broken transit but this thing is huge okay we all know your girl loves her some color so when i saw this palette you know i saw a couple of the channels that i like trying it out and it seemed like a pretty decent palette okay for revolution so i went ahead and picked this up y'all look at this palette has every color in it including white black you know ranges of every single rainbow color there is there is a really nice section of like neutrals in here too you can see all those browns and warm tones on the end some nice shimmers and highlighters in the center beautiful range of color so i mean of course i'm going to test this out just like i did the profusion one which turned out to be a pretty decent palette i just hate the shimmers so yeah i am curious about this it smells like i don't want to say cheap makeup but it does it smells like cheap makeup but i'm very uh intrigued with this so definitely looking forward to checking this out okay those huge palettes can be a little bit intimidating because it's kind of like okay i need to do a rainbow look otherwise i'm just using two or three shadows you know so we'll see what happens now i also picked up this palette i was watching um makeup misa i believe do a look and she used this palette i had never heard of it it's from lottie london and it's a collab palette with i believe her name is is it thule Thule. I've seen a few of her videos. She's hilarious. A crack up has, you know, a lot of energy. <laughs> but I've seen a few of her videos and she's really gorgeous. And I didn't know anything about this. I guess this is pretty old. But the color scheme in here just was like, whoa. So I looked it up and it was only like 11 bucks. I had to order it from Look Fantastic because I couldn't find it out my way out here in the States and it is just so pretty so i mean i really really am curious let me just do a couple swatches okay because this blue is just really pretty i mean it's a drugstore type palette i have a couple of other lottie london palettes that i haven't used yet so i'm not expecting that much as far as it being you know uh drugstore yeah it kind of it swatches to me like typical drugstore but y'all know i definitely didn't need this palette but it's like the colors were just so gorgeous it's really pretty so yeah i'm definitely going to create a look with this very very gorgeous so 
I got that. Next, I picked up some palettes from Cara Beauty. I don't know what it is about Cara Beauty and their packaging and their palette designs that just get me every time. Now, when I saw these palettes drop, these are like kind of like marijuana themed palettes, but there's a purple, a green, and an orange. I really wanted them, but they sold out like that, okay? And so I had to wait for them to come back. This one is the Purple Haze. Look at these colors, you guys. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty, so gorgeous. I'm basically starting like a Cara Beauty collection at this point, because I have quite a few of their palettes. This is the Girl Scout. Oh, <laughs> yo, do you see this? Do you see this? So gorgeous. And then this one is the Orange Pop and this one was super pretty to me, even though I'm really not into orange like that. Some of the other colors in here really grabbed my attention. Like, you know, this here. Oh, oh my gosh. Are these shimmers or glitters? If they're glitters, they're super fine because they feel like glitter, but yeah but it's like so fine that it's not that chunky chunky glitter where you feel like oh my goodness you know i don't want to deal with it and you see it's sticking to my hand without any glitter glue so ooh, child. yes let me swatch a couple of these other ones this video might be long y'all because i want to see what these glitters look like okay this one is the purple palette so i'm gonna swatch this pink and this purple <gasps> Yo, do you see that? These are some glitters that, honey, I am not going to have a problem using because they are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Ah, uh, so pretty. Can you imagine that on the eyes, you guys? Oh, uh, so pretty. <laughs> I may as well swatch a couple from the green and blue one too. I don't know why it is these glitters got me today, you guys, because usually I just ignore the glitters. But in these palettes, look at that. Look at that. These are the type of glitters that I love playing with because they're not too chunky and you can just imagine how that will look on your eye. Oh my goodness, so pretty, okay. Now I'm really, really excited that I got these palettes. Okay, I forgot to show you guys, also from the XX Revolution line, I picked up a, you know, face palette or complexion palette. This one is the Dimension one, the nice deep dark one. And this one is like super duper dark, you guys. Look at the packaging, really cute, nice, sleek type packaging. This one is really, really cute textured feel but this one is the deep one really really deep it's called dimension and it has in there you know i guess the bronzer slash contour highlight and blush i've got to swatch this you guys oh my gosh i have been looking at this online and it's just like i gotta see what that looks like on my skin tone because these colors are so rich so that's the contour the highlight and the blush okay so very very pretty it's not as intimidating you know with the swatches as in the palette it looks like this is really going to work very very nice for deeper skin tones very nice definitely looks like a cool tone contour for me also when I ordered the three palettes from Cara Beauty these three uh, <laughs> Girl Scout Orange Pop and Purple Haze palettes. They sent me some lashes for free. I was like, I didn't order no lashes, but they sent me these Fabby Lashes 3D Faux Make Lashes. And they actually look really cute. Very, very cute. So I can't wait to try those out. That was nice of them to send me a little freebie, okay? Now, I don't, you guys, I have been like on this bright 
neon or just bright eyeshadow kick lately i really want to i've really been wanting to bump up my collection of brights neons and things like that so i picked up this poppy cosmetics neon drip palette now i've been drooling over this palette <laughs> i've been drooling over this palette for a long time and i finally bit the bullet okay my girl lily did a look with this palette a while back i don't know why i didn't buy it then sometimes i go through cheap phases where i'm like you know look i don't need to buy everything i want so that's probably why I didn't buy it at the time because I've been drooling and wanting and just ugh, wanting this palette for so long. Now I have it and honey, I am shook. It's even more beautiful in person than it is on camera or in pictures. It's gorgeous. As you can see, I'm doing this bright look today. So, but I can't wait to use this, honey. It is gorgeous. And I'm not swatching it because I know I'm gonna do a video with that. I have to. So I'm not going to swatch it until then. I also picked up this. What is this? This is a pastels palette from Beauty Bay. Okay. I had seen this going around on Instagram. And it's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So gorgeous. And when I went to go buy it, it was sold out. And I was bummed out. So I went ahead and waited until it came back. And this thing is like only 10 bucks. It's like really, really cheap. So I'm hoping that the shadows will show up on a white base on my eyes because it's so pretty, beautiful uh, pastel palette. And so I'm really excited to kind of bump up my pastel collection of eyeshadows. So yeah, it's really pretty. I'm hoping that it works out. I'm going to swatch it, but then again, I don't. It's like I'm trying to... <sighs> I'll swatch a couple. <laughs> if you know me, then you, you know, personally, you know that I don't like swatching my palettes until I actually use them. It's just something about that surprise for me with whether or not it's going to swatch good. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm weird like that. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch some for you guys since it is a pastel palette and it's so affordable, you know, look at that. Yeah, very light, very, very powdery. So definitely need to go in with a white base to actually get the colors to pop because this is like the peachy shade, lavender shade, and this is, you know, the blue, of course. <laughs> I'm getting spots all over my hand. But yeah so you can see there you can see the pastel colors and it is very light so i wouldn't say like oh it doesn't have any you know pigment because it does honey these are pastel shades so yeah we'll have to check that out and it's kind of tricky it's kind of tricky working with pastels because they do tend to be powdery and can blend away and stuff like that so we'll see what happens because I'll just put down a white base. Y'all, this video is going to be long because I'm talking a lot. So <laughs> I can always tell when I start talking too much because I look at, you know, how far I am in the video and what I have left to talk about. And it's like, girl, you doing too much talking. Okay, I also picked up the Violet Voss Sakura Palette. Sakura Blossom Palette, I should say. Um, This palette is gorgeous gorgeous if you like pinks and beautiful shimmers oh my gosh it's so so pretty i picked mine up from sephora absolutely gorgeous i didn't even know this palette existed until i saw my girl lily with it okay now when i tell y'all that that girl be shopping she be shopping i didn't even know anything about this until i saw her with it okay so pretty oh my gosh so very beautiful i can't wait to try that out i picked up a couple more kind of like i don't know i've been buying like a lot of well i buy a lot of affordable makeup quite honestly i do i think i kind of have a nice range in my collection of affordable and high-end stuff so and i do get a lot of indie brand stuff too which tends to be a little bit more expensive but i got this palette off of 
Amazon. I have another palette by them already. This is from Prism Makeup. This one is a Supreme Seductress. The other one that I have has like all of the colorful shades in it. This one is perfect for someone who loves to do regular, everyday, warm tone looks, work looks, smoky looks, stuff like that because it has this beautiful warm side and this beautiful smoky side. Of course, these are dupes for like the Huda Beauty little palettes and stuff, which I have already, but I really like the fact, I know y'all sitting there like, girl, why did you buy that palette? <laughs> but listen, listen, listen. I like to do neutral looks every blue moon, okay? Every blue moon, every once and again, you know, your girl likes to do a neutral or a smoky look at least have the ability to okay and this one oh my gosh and i did swatch a few of these and they swatch really nice but this one i think would be great for travel for someone who likes to do just regular neutral warm tone smoky type looks because not only do you have your cool tone stuff going on over here you also have beautiful warm tone stuff going on over here so it's kind of like the best of both worlds if you like you know to kind of mix it up i like this palette for that so let me do just a couple of swatches so you guys can see what i mean about the pigmentation is here and this palette, I think it might have been like $9.99 or something like that on Amazon. Really inexpensive. I do have an Amazon link in my description box. <laughs> if you ever, you know, want to purchase something from Amazon or see me talking about something from Amazon, if you click my link, I do get like a small percentage of, you know, the sale. So that's pretty cool if you want to support your girl. But let me just do a few swatches for y'all. I hate swatching with my pinky because it's never the same <laughs> size as all the rest of the swatches. Okay, but do you see those swatches for this little cheap palette from Amazon? It's, um, like I said, it's from a brand called Prism. And I was really shocked at the pigmentation on there, honey. So yeah, if you're looking for an affordable, warm tone, cool tone, smoky tone palette, check it out, okay, from Amazon. Supreme Seductress, that's what it looks like. I also picked up this Revolution eyeshadow palette. It's been out for a long time. Some of you guys might've even told me to grab it. This is one of the Forever Flawless. It's the Bird of Paradise one. And I just, I kept looking at it and kept looking at it. And I was like, that's pretty, okay, very pretty. So it's not new by any means. There are all kind of reviews on the tube for this palette, but it is really pretty. It's just a really gorgeous tropical color scheme. Couple of glitters in there, as you can see, but very, very pretty. So I think, I don't know if I like the packaging <laughs> more than the shadows, but I like both. I love the packaging and the shadows. Now, if you watch my channel regularly, you know that I already did a video or a swatch party, I should say, for these Beach Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. I did pick up five out of the six. And so if you wanna check that video out, go ahead and check it out. But this is one of my latest purchases. This one is the orange. It is the orange sorbet. Ah! I won't spoil it if you haven't already seen the swatches. This is the cherry on top. Look at that. Look at that. And I am going to use one of these. This is a cotton candy. Oh my gosh. Every time I look at this, it's just like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I think I'm going to use this one. <laughs> But yeah, that's the cotton candy. This one is the pistachio. Gorgeous greens. Oh my goodness. And then I have bubble gum, which is the blue. So pretty. You guys, I these monochromatic palettes, I haven't seen any like lately that are that gorgeous, that pigmented, just that beautiful in a while. Okay, those are bomb okay i spoiled it but watch this watch video anyway <laughs> i also picked up a couple of new palettes from c color this is the dust till dawn 
and this one is the diamond okay and they're really big you guys look at how long they are but they came out with these new palettes and they're known for like putting out dupe palettes and stuff so this one is quite obvious to me the dust to dawn which looks like this take this off but this is what the dust to dawn looks like it's identical to the jackie Ina palette i identical so don't ask me why i bought it because y'all know i got the jackie Ina palette but sometimes i like testing out the dupe palettes just to see um you know what's up with the quality because sometimes the quality can be better than the original <laughs> but you can look at these two palettes and clearly see that they are you know supposed to be alike i mean they even put all of the shadows in the exact same spot as the jackie Ina palette <laughs> so yeah definitely a dupe so i mean i know the jackie Ina palette has actually been on sale um in several different places so you can get it for a good buy probably, but if you are not able to afford that, check out C Color because their palettes are pretty reasonable and they're pretty good quality. So yeah, curious about this one. I might do like a swatch comparison video. I don't do like the palette showdowns. I've only done a couple of them. They are very tedious to me. <laughs> they just are. So I don't really do them a lot, but I might do like a swatch off of these two palettes. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a swatch off because that's a lot easier than, you know, the palette showdowns where you do two different eyes. Now this one, the diamond palette, uh, I was just looking at it and trying to figure out like because it's all shimmer it is all shimmer and they look absolutely gorgeous really pretty and the only palette that I have that's completely shimmer with these kind of like light tone shimmers is my Fenty Galaxy palette and I don't know to me it's like some of the shades could be similar but I don't feel like the shades in the C color palette, if I could pick it up, um, are dupes for this Fenty. I just, I really don't. Maybe it's, I don't know. I definitely would have to do like a swatch comparison for these two to see. But I feel like, like the Fenty one has that bright blue in there and I don't see a shade in the C color that is as bright as that blue. I mean, it might swatch differently and then they match, but yeah, they kind of look similar. They look pretty similar, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like a spot on, spot on situation. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a swatch comparison video for both of these palettes with the ones that they're supposed to be duping. Now, I know y'all tired of me talking about my girl, Lily, but she's the reason why I got 80% of this stuff that I'm showing y'all, okay? <laughs> um, She was showing me some really, really gorgeous palettes from Nika K, okay? Nika K has these really pretty cute little nine pan palettes and they have like every single color, you know, for you to get blue, green, yellow, purple, red, every single one. I only got a few because I have a lot of these like mini Kind of monochromatic type palettes in my collection that i struggle to use already so i just picked up a few that i thought were super gorgeous and some other things from nika k nika k is extremely affordable okay check out her website if you don't i mean a lot of beauty supply stores carry her items and so they're really affordable and i know these palettes have been out for quite a while actually but I didn't really know about them or pay any attention to them until she brought it to my attention. So this one here is a poison apple. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful reds, shimmers in there. And I mean, from the people that I have seen use them and swatch them, these are supposed to be like really, really nice for the price. I think they're only like three bucks or something. So yeah, okay. If you aren't able to afford like the Huda Beauty and stuff, I think these are some great options for you. This one is Sugar Plum, which has like the purple tones in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Really pretty. And this last one that I have here is the Mocha Mix. 
so so pretty so that looks like it will make a gorgeous gorgeous warm smoky eye look look at those shimmers so pretty could be like a nice dupe option for the huda nude deep maybe maybe very pretty i also picked up a couple of these cute little 12 pan palettes that i saw very very cute i thought these color stories were adorable this one is the lime mojito and i believe these might have been like what maybe five bucks but these are the colors in here i like the fact that there's some really pretty matte shades in here to go along with the shimmers uh let me swatch i gotta swatch a couple for you guys okay so that's not bad definitely looks like you know it's a lesser expensive formula that you would need to build up but you know that shimmer is very promising very promising so yeah like five bucks you can't beat it this one is the blue hawaii now this one is like one of my favorite color stories of course that blue and that pink just kind of stand out and scream at you let me swatch a couple of these too the formula feels pretty dry when i go in to swatch it feels pretty dry but i definitely you know can see the pigmentation on these shadows so yeah they're pretty let me go over that blue a little bit better yeah very pretty so i think yeah if you're on a budget check out nika k because you know she has some nice decent quality products that can have you out here slaying on a budget okay i also picked up a couple of her blush palettes they're like blush and highlight palettes you see how pretty these are so so gorgeous look at those gorgeous beautiful colors in there so so pretty this one is called the red glam red glam oh i can't wait to use that this one is called very berry very berry oh, oh my gosh look at that you guys can't you just see that on my cheeks ah oh, that's so pretty i also grabbed a highlighter this is called one of their perfection highlighters this one is in sandstone look at that ah don't want to swatch this oh i hate to mess it up but i'm gonna swatch it for y'all okay oh my gosh it feels smooth oh. Oh. do you see that do you see? i paid like a couple of dollars for this highlight you guys oh my goodness ah oh. I have been really just hitting the jackpot with the highlighters because that apple shaped highlighter that I got from Ulta, that Revolution highlighter, oh, that mug is bomb, okay? Look at this. Very nice, beautiful, subtle highlight. If you like that subtle type of glow, oh, this is gorgeous. Yes, I wish they had more shades because I think the only other one that they had I, it wouldn't look good on me <laughs> so yeah no oh that's pretty look at that that's gorgeous i don't love it as much as the apple one but that one is pretty too now i also wanted to try out like something else from them aside from just face products and eye products so i grabbed this primer this is a 24 karat gold face primer and this is what it looks like of course it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> absolutely gorgeous so I wanted to just check it out so this is what this primer looks like nice loose consistency oh it has a nice soft fragrance to it nothing crazy nothing aggressive very very soft so let me see how it feels when I rub it in I never understood why they put gold flecks and stuff. I mean, because it's pretty, I understand, but I don't want gold flecks on my face. So I'm glad that these are really, really small in here. 
So yeah, it just looks like a nice face primer. It doesn't feel, I mean, it feels slightly tacky, very slightly tacky, but nothing more than like the, uh, what is it? The Elf Jelly Pop Primer or the Milk uh, Primer. Yeah, it, it doesn't smell like anything now, but yeah, it soaked into my skin very nicely and it feels like it would definitely be a good base, kind of like the Jelly Pop, um, Elf Jelly Pop Primer. And this one says that it's hydrating, so I'm gonna check it out, okay? And lastly, they sent me this little gift, probably because I ordered so much stuff. <laughs> well, they sent me this little gift. So this is a lip, a lip gel with vitamin E in the flavor of bubble gum. Looks really pretty. I like lip products. Of course, I already have something on, so I'm not going to try it on, but it smells good. <laughs> so yeah, got that. And is this a sticker? This looks like it might be a little sticker. It says Nika K. I like getting little stickers because I have a caboodle travel makeup kit and I always put all my stickers on there. Okay, so next I have some lip products, some bomb new lip products from my girl DJ's Unique Boutique, okay? And listen, I bought a couple of items. I bought the glosses, but I got some lipstick sent to me in PR, okay? <laughs> it sounds so crazy getting PR from one of my besties, but I am so proud of her and her boutique. She is doing a dang thing, you guys. Definitely keep your eyes out if you haven't checked out her boutique already because she has a lot of bomb new things coming up, okay, for the holidays and stuff. But she's already come out with a bomb palette, our favorite things, okay, just in case you haven't seen it. Hold on. This is her our favorite things palette, okay. Hello. Look at the colors in this palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. Mine's a little bit beat up, you know, because I'll be using it and whatnot. But this palette, oh, so pretty. I'm so proud of my girl. But this is the palette from her boutique. I picked up a couple of glosses. Her daughter came out with her own little gloss line. Okay, too cute. So I got the clear one and the purple one. And these glosses are so comfortable. Okay, they are not sticky at all. They're long lasting. They feel good on the lips. So yeah, if you're looking for some affordable gloss, check out her website as well. So cute. This is glosses by Tyra with the little lips on there little purple one so I picked up a couple of those yes I be shopping okay even though I get <laughs> some PR stuff and since I did join her affiliate program okay if you do purchase anything using my link in the description box I do get a little bit of you know a little kickback a little affiliate kickback but I'm telling you guys y'all know I was already using her stuff and all of that before I became an affiliate so she sent me her three new lip products, okay? It's a gloss and two bullet style lipsticks. And bullet style lipsticks are my favorite because to me they're more comfortable than like liquid lipsticks and stuff. Although I love the color range of liquid lipsticks, they can be drying. But this one here, this is her natural lip gloss. Comes in this cute little, um, you know tube here and I actually am wearing it right now okay I have on my glory lip liner from Revolution and I have on this lip gloss here on my lips so if you're curious about what it might look like with a lip liner I have it on right now but let me see if I can give you a little swatch of this you know so you can see what it looks like without a lip liner. You see that? Just beautiful, beautiful nude. I love shades like that because shades like that go with any eye look. Anything you put on your eyes, on your face, a shade like that is going to go perfect because it's just a nude, it's a beautiful nude. This one is called Nude with Attitude, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's describing me, all right? This one here is one of her lipsticks, and this one is the shade Blushing Bride. So this is what color that is. And let me swatch this one for you as well. Oh, I love this color. These kind of colors, I think, look nice on me. You know, I ain't trying to, like, 
toot my own horn or nothing <laughs> but that color is really pretty and i like these type of colors on me i don't know i love beautiful colorful dark lipsticks but when you're doing like super bold colorful eye looks it's kind of nice to just throw on a nude sometimes because if you throw on like a really deep bold color of lipstick sometimes it takes away from the eye look so this one is black cherry so that's the color on that one and mine are not all pristine and neat anymore because honey i do use them <laughs> but that is what black cherry looks like so just to show you what the three new lip products look like from dj's unique boutique definitely check them out these lipsticks are super comfortable this lip gloss is super comfortable i've been talking like for lord knows how long and it's still on so yeah i just want to share those with you guys okay check it out okay so i only have a few more things y'all okay um i did pick up from my local beauty supply a couple of lashes they have a bazillion lashes at my local beauty supply to where sometimes I won't even look because it's overwhelming but I decided to take a look this time and I saw lashes from this company called Wondercat. I don't know if they're new or not because I don't really buy lashes from my beauty supply they may have been out forever but I don't know about them as you can see I only paid like $3.99 for these and they are you know by month so this one is July so so cute and the ones that I have on right now are actually from the same brand, Wonder Cat. Paid $3.99, but they're the March ones. So you can see here, this one says March. And so those are the ones I have on right now. So if you like these and you shop at your local beauty supply, maybe see if they have these Wonder Cat lashes. I'm not a lash connoisseur, but I like these. They're very comfortable. <laughs> Now, I picked up this sponge. I don't know if I got this sponge from Target or Ulta. I don't remember because I threw away the packaging. I actually took this out to use it today. I wet it so I could see how big it would get. Y'all see how big this sponge is? Okay. It's huge. I think it's from Eco Tools. Um, and I really like the shape of it. I like the flat edges and stuff, and then it has the round bottom. But what I don't like about this is that I've never used this sponge before. All I did was wet it and squeeze it out, you know, to make sure it was clean and to see how big it would get. And look, it is already cracking. It's already cracking, and I haven't even used it yet. I was just looking, I was like, are those cracks? So, um, yeah, I'm not happy about that. Okay, I don't know how much I paid for this, but I haven't even used it. It's already cracking just from me wetting it and squeezing it. Like, hello, I use my, well, this is dirty, so excuse it. But I use my um, Shop Miss A sponges like a billion times, wash them, wring these things out like crazy, and they don't split like that. It's still not splitting or anything. So I'm not happy about that. I don't think I'll be purchasing any more of these because I'm not with the split before you use, okay? But anyways, I got that, okay? And lastly, I picked up a couple of things from Sephora. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I have seen people using the new Patrick Star makeup remover and wipes, and I've just been like, ooh, that looks like fun, okay? So I picked up this one size go off makeup dissolving mist okay y'all know i love spraying stuff on my face so i might use this actually in a video to take this makeup off what y'all think i might do that just to kind of see what's happening but everyone has said it's been working really really amazing so and i picked up these wipes lord knows i didn't need to buy these expensive wipes but i wanted to get the whole experience you know the wipes along with the dissolving mist, all of that. These are supposed to be super large as well. So we're going to check them out. So I picked these up from Sephora. And then I got my samples as well. You know, you get your two little samples. I don't remember what I did with them. They're probably in my sample drawer. But I used some of my points to grab one of these uh, Too Faced Damn Girl mascaras I, you know because honey i don't like spending a lot of money on mascara so i said i may as well try it out so i went ahead and used i think it might have just been like 100 points or something to try out this damn girl mascara look at that packaging 
<laughs> they be doing the most with their packaging. But let me just see what this looks like. Cause, uh, yeah, it's one of these big wands. But I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to try it. You know, giant wand. <laughs> My lashes are so small. When I try to use these, look at that. Look at that. When I try to use these giant wands, it just gets all over my face. So we gonna see though. I'm I'm trying to try something new. So I went ahead and grabbed that with some of my points. So anyways, you guys, I think that is it. I think that's enough. But yeah, that's everything that I've purchased over the last couple of, well, maybe this past month, maybe. And it was my birthday month. So I think I did good. I don't really think, usually I go ham on my birthday. I don't feel like I did. <laughs> <laughs> even though I do still have some stuff coming in the mail but that's no you know what that's not it oh I forgot y'all I got a couple more things <laughs> I got a couple more things and then that's it I you know what I ordered because I ordered some stuff from AliExpress and uh Profusion I don't think I showed these did I show these anyways if I did then oh well I got these um neon really super bright eyeliners from profusion and they have these gorgeous gorgeous colors blue orange pink so i grabbed all three y'all know i like playing with color so i went ahead and grabbed these so i can see how they work let me take a look at the wand i haven't even looked at the wand you guys oh yes 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 okay it has one of the really tiny thin precise wands okay yeah lots of control very opaque look at that yes i'm excited i'm really excited okay so yeah i got some of these uh super bright eyeliners i'm a mess sitting here acting like i was through and lastly i picked up some loose pigments from aliexpress aliexpress is so cheap that it's like you just can't help but try some of their stuff because it's so cheap um the only problem is it takes a year and a day to get to you but i wanted to try out like i said i'm on a neon kick some loose pigments so i just grabbed this i'm sure it was just a couple bucks but i grabbed this stack of like neon loose pigments so I can like play with them on my eyes and see how vibrant they are. I mean, you can't beat it for the price. The only thing is you got to be real careful with these things because, honey, they can be a mess. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Honey, chow. Yes. Loose pigment. Okay. Yes. And it's not like super duper messy either. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm excited. That is some serious color. So yeah, you gotta be really careful because they're all connected. But you know, you just take the top off and then, you know, you got your pigments right there. But yeah, I'm excited now. I grabbed these, you know, just to play around with them, do some crazy looks. I also grabbed this here because it has a lot of pinks reds but this one has like this blue this purple this green so i just kind of like got both of them um even though it has a lot of the same colors this one has more variation of pinks and reds you know oranges and stuff in there so very very cheap on alex aliexpress but yeah you definitely have to be careful with using these loose pigments so now that's it y'all <laughs> really and truly and that's it i am you know i don't have anything else to show y'all that's it so hopefully you guys had a good time hanging out with me looking at this stuff checking it out uh let me know down in the comments what you think of some of this stuff if you have it already if you you know have picked up some of this stuff yourself if you're going to buy some of this stuff after seeing it on this video let your girl know okay so that's it for today you guys thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you on my next video toodles